cam back, still living. Wanted to show you this new converter I bought. It's a DC to DC constant current converter. What it does is allows your cell to draw up to adjustable 32 amps and that's through that front knob there. You have two LED lights. Green one's normal, red's power. Um, but what's nice about this is your supply side, like your alternator, it will only draw up to 12 amps. 32 on that side, 12 on this side, and it reduces the voltage at the cell to 4 volts, reducing your heat. This is only four plates, positive and negative. Two positive, two negative. This is the production it's doing. And I've seen the production like this on a lot of videos. But it's only two plates, two of the negative plates making that production right there. On this side of the converter, it has a remote turn on. Two terminals for a thermal resistor that you can put on your cell that reduces the uh, amperage once it gets to a certain temperature. And two other screws will be used for an LED light to show you low water. Um, this is my other cell with neutral plates. This does not work on neutral plates. Um, this cell only uses, it only took a quarter teaspoon to kick off that. That's what I'm looking for, maybe less chemicals to put in your cell. But um, this was always having about a one and a half voltage drop during a run. So I put two more plates in it, making it a total of 16. And um, now the gap voltage is 1.93, which seems to be doing pretty good. It holds around 13.7. Not getting that big draw. And uh, it's producing right there, not too bad. It's doing about 3 liters a minute at 30 amps. So I just wanted to show you the, uh, the converter. Um, if you're running a cell that's positive and negative or you want to build one, I'm going to build a, a new cell and see how she does. But um, this is what you need. You, I tried to hook up the regular power supply and it's a dead short. It can't run this. So just wanted to show it to you. If you're interested in it, give me a jingle on YouTube. Talk to you later. Bye.